what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Reeves Subaru in Tampa, Florida, and we have a very special car. This is a 2017 McLaren 570 GT. But before we get into this McLaren, let's talk a little bit about McLaren history. Bruce McLaren, the namesake of this iconic brand, was once a race car driver, also a race engineer. He engineered his own cars. Very, very historic win at Le Mans, especially if you saw that Ford versus Ferrari movie. He won the 1966 24 Hours of Le Mans race with Ford. Unfortunately, in 1970, Bruce McLaren lost his life at a racing event in, in uh, England, Goodwood, England. Since then, the McLaren name has really come to the forefront for ultimate performance. Now, McLaren Cars was actually instituted and created in 1985. All of that Formula One racing heritage, all their championships, especially with great drivers like Ayrton Senna. McLaren Automotive first came about in 2010. Now, everybody who's a car fan, especially when it comes to those supercars and hypercars, knows that McLaren really turned the car world upside down in 1992 with their McLaren F1. That was the fastest road-going production car for so many years, over 270 miles an hour. With 2010, McLaren Automotive wanted to bring a wider variety of vehicles to consumers to where now today we have cars like the McLaren Senna to pay homage to Ayrton Senna, but then there's also other models that are a little bit more within reach of car enthusiasts. With this 570 GT, this 2017 570 GT, they only made it for a couple years, and this really is the gentleman's McLaren to have as a daily driver. When we look at the C8 Corvette, you're gonna see I'm sure some similarities, and I really believe that Chevrolet had one of these at their engineering facilities when designing the C8. So let's go ahead, dive into this 2017 McLaren 570 GT and see really is it the daily driver supercar and is it almost a spitting image of the C8 Corvette. Right off the bat, you know it's a McLaren because of the styling. With the 570 GT, you're gonna get a lot of the same styling as if you went with a non-GT, a 570S. You can see the very specific boomerang shape headlight mimics the actual uh, brand logo of McLaren. And if you ever wonder what, what, what is that logo, is it a boomerang? It actually represents a Kiwi bird because Bruce McLaren was from New Zealand. So you can see that curve shape there, the LED daytime running lamps, LED lighting inside. We drop down, of course you're gonna get functionality. So we're going to force feed all this air into the cooling ducts and whatnot because of this twin turbo V8. We're talking about a twin turbo V8 underneath that rear hatch. I really like the metallic gray to break up the blue. And you can see that this is not only going to provide downforce, but it also is going to force feed air into that area. Now, as we come across the very, very low nose on that, there's the McLaren badging of McLaren Automotive. There's that logo, part of the logo I was telling you about. That represents the Kiwi bird, the official bird of New Zealand where Bruce McLaren is from. We have that very low frunk. This is a mid-engine car, so we have a trunk up front, also known as a frunk. And you can see the very clean design. With the 570 series, I really think that McLaren hit the nail on the head design-wise to give a very clean look, but also purposeful. You can see that lower uh, lip spoiler splitter area is gonna help direct airflow and give us downforce at the front end of this car. But from one side to the other, you could see how all of those shapes all go into that McLaren badging. Now, when we go up onto the frunk, very light body lines that kind of rise as you go towards the A pillars. And you could see the fenders have a nice peak to them. We come around the bend, what are we working with? 570 GT. These are specific wheels to this car. This is a 19 inch wheel. Now, surprisingly up front, we're talking about 225 on the width. That's actually pretty narrow. What that's gonna do for you is actually really quicken up the steering. You have a 35 series on the sidewall, and overall, I think the color combo works. This thing looks like a banana. Not just one banana, but a massive banana. Sort of like a 
nice bright yellow plantain. You have the four piston McLaren uh, Brembo calipers there, that bright yellow, two piece rotors. And what I mean by two piece, you see the silver part that's known as the hat. The hat is aluminum. You have the rotor behind it, cross drilled and fully ventilated, gonna give us ultimate stopping capability where you could stop on a Euro and give people change all the way around the world. Now in the fender treatment, nice flow to it. You can see the beautiful body lines. Looking at this car, you really have to stand here. It's almost like you have to get a lawn chair and sit and just stare at it and notice all of the beautiful lines going on. So this is all functional to help direct air to these large, massive air intakes for the radiators and whatnot. You have the lower sill extension where it's got the 570 GT badge shining in the Florida sun flares out as you get towards the rear of this car. But one of my favorite parts of this car with the design is look, that's pretty cool. So you're gonna have that wonderful uh, design with that airflow and just gives you a totally unique look. Now to open up the door, there's a button here. We're gonna raise the door up and I think this is one of my favorite parts about a McLaren. Something different than a Ferrari, something different than a Porsche is that you're gonna have that unique style of door opening to get in and out very very high sill so you're going to have to swing a leg over on this one and drop into the the seat but very very clean design and then to close it you can see all of that beautiful lines and everything closes down very nicely i also like that metallic gray contrast very clean now one thing with the 570 gt that's totally separate is this rear glass hatch area so this is all about maximizing luggage space you have room back underneath the glass and you have room in the front. We'll talk more about what that room means, but very, very clean lines coming off the rear, no rear buttress on the 570 GT. When we get to the rear, I'm gonna swing around. Great kick up, just enough. It's that metallic gray color. We also have the LED brake lights, that same design, venting to, ex to vent that exhaust heat, that engine heat. Speaking of exhaust, you're gonna have one exhaust on each side, love the shape, love the style massive rear diffuser. I mean, this thing is gonna help produce downforce, channeling that air underneath. You have a LED reverse light mounted nice and low. You could see all of the opening there, that iconic name, McLaren. So many Formula One wins. 1995, a McLaren F1 won the 24 Hours of Le Mans overall. That's the first time that a GT car like that had won the race overall. But I love the kick up. Going back on this rear area, you can see your Third brake light, nicely integrated, more beautiful venting, nice metal mesh venting, looks clean. But why don't we go ahead, let's check out the interior and we're gonna talk some hard numbers about performance of this McLaren 570 GT. All right guys, we're sitting in the McLaren 570 GT. I know a lot of you are already probably put in the comment section, hey, I would just get a C8 Corvette, save yourself the money. I promise you that People that are cross-shopping McLarens are not cross-shopping it with a C8 Corvette. I just don't see it happening. This car has a lot of heritage that goes beyond what the C8 brings to the table, even though they are very similar in layout and that whole dr daily driving capability. Now, let's talk about price. MSRP originally on this car, base was a little over $200,000 you add some options, you're easily looking around $210,000. Reeves is gonna have this marked. They haven't officially announced the price yet, but Reeves is gonna probably have this around the 150 k mark. Let's see what you get for the money. Now to the door panels. With the GT, you get a nice two-tone leather interior, full leather, stitching everywhere, the optional uh, sound system, which is gonna give you nice, clear audio, and just the design that's second to none. As we go from that awesome opening door panel to the dash, you can see the aeronautical style um, air vents, really clean. Even look at the boomerang shape there. It's all there, you got the stitch work. Two-tone, looks great. Leather to the infotainment system. Now, when we get to the infotainment system, you're looking at a seven inch horizontal, uh, excuse me, vertical screen. Really clear, really simple. It does have navigation. We hit that navigation button. There's your navigation. Of course, you're gonna get uh, full AC controls, everything all done on the screen here. I like the way the driver is wearing a helmet. 
that shows the intentions of this car. No ventilated seats, so we are gonna zonk it. I know you're probably like, Joe, you're zonking a McLaren. Yes, there's no ventilated seats, but there are heated seats, and I do like just how simple and clean everything is. Does it stand up to the infotainment systems of today? No, you can see the McLaren uh, logo right there on your volume knob and everything. Real easy, it's real easy to work through, so that's, that's the great part. Now you drop down, you have two, excuse me, one cup holder. Look at that badge down there, that 570 GT Surrey, England. That's where they hand assemble these. They're not hand assembling your C8 Corvette. You got a little tiny cubby down here for some British Circus peanuts. Nicely placed, the leather. Even, look at this, your emergency Twinkie could be held in with this nice little cargo net. Normally I zonk that, but in this car it just, it fits it. And it's not huge, which is nice. Stitch work all the way around. You get to this little area. So we have our uh, rotating switches to go through different drive modes, your start stop button, uh, your active exhaust control, launch control. This is all gonna be operating that seven speed DCT transmission. You got your button for the front, your button for the rear hatch cargo area, keys, simple. What I love about this car is the simplicity in its design. Another cup holder, like you're gonna bring drinks, trust me, if you're riding with me in a, in a McLaren, especially if it's mine, you're not bringing any drinks in here. I don't care if you're dying of thirst. Stitch work, open it up, guess what? It's a perfect slot for two Twinkies stacked on top of one another. You do have uh, three USBs and a 12 volt and an aux jack, and then the seats. Soft leather, the stitch work looks great. They're full, obviously, power assist for driver and passenger with two memory settings. The challenge is you're gonna have to get over this carpet, this uh, carpet lined sill. Now remember, we're sitting in carbon fiber. This whole monocoque is carbon fiber. They cover it with the carpet for the GT. You go other models, you get the nice raw um, carbon fiber that shows amount of room is great. The seats hug you so nicely. We have a glass roof, nice see-through, really brightens it up inside. You got plenty of room to put a helmet. You could track day this McLaren as well, even though it's more of a daily driver. Another zonk is no frameless mirror. So it would be nice if it had uh, a frameless auto dimming mirror, but why don't you get on over to the best part, the most important part, the business end behind the wheel of this 570 GT. All right, guys, business end. We got the door open, that high sill area. You feel like you're you're in a race car. When I sat in the C8, I didn't feel this way. I really didn't. There's something extra special. This steering wheel is on the money. Now, remember, you're going to be controlling this car that has a 3.8 liter twin turbo V8. Twin turbo V8. Look at how there's no buttons on it. You got metal paddles on the back of the steering wheel but everything is very clean. No Bluetooth buttons or any of that garbage. They even hollow out the stocks for your turn signals and your windshield wipers to really maximize weight. Check out that dash, clear as day. And like I said, that 3.8 liter twin turbo V8, 8,200 RPM redline, 562 horsepower, 443 pound-feet of torque. This car weighs 3,340 pounds, zero to 60 in about 2.9 seconds, quarter mile in 10.9, and a top speed of 204 miles an hour. And the best part is you're gonna get MPG-wise around 16 in the city, 23 in the highway. This is amazing. I wanna take you for a spin, but before we do, let's check out the cargo areas and see how daily driver acceptable this 570 GT is. All right, guys, time to check out the usability of this as a daily driver. So we have the front open. You can see the amount of space that we have. We're talking five cubic feet of space. We have another nice cargo net. You could put a box of British scones in there for your travels. You also have a 12 volt and LED lighting, which is a nice touch. Now, the best part is with the 570 GT is you're gonna get more cargo space. Come take a little walk with me. I just love looking at the lines of this car. Now, when we get to the rear hatch area, normally hatches would open this way, not so much on the 570 GT. I've already popped it. You just lift that rear glass and you could see nice, beautiful line leather to give you a little bit more cargo space that's gonna be eight cubic feet of space 
for, if you're doing the math, five plus eight, the last time I checked is 13 cubic feet of space. This is what separates the 570 GT from the rest of the 570 lineup where you're gonna be able to have the performance, that twin turbo V8 that's underneath there, and also the usability as a daily driver. But why don't we go ahead, we're gonna close all these hatches and doors and everything else. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take this McLaren 570 GT for a spin. guys we just left reeve subaru we're in the 2017 mclaren 570 gt any chance that i get to get behind the wheel of a mclaren any of them i am definitely going to jump on it right away what i love is the visibility you know when you're looking at a mid-engine that mid-engine behind us and you're sitting almost right on that front axle it's like you're sitting on the front wheels gives you such a view to see through the corner and hit your apex is spot on even though this is your daily driver capable mclaren that's why they designed this to make this a little bit more usable for the daily driving experience but visibility is awesome out the back forget it um zonk that you can't the only thing i can see is like the sky that's about it side mirrors work great though and it would be nice if this had a little bit more camera capability to see what's going on behind me. That's the only challenge, but the side mirrors work phenomenal. Uh, even on the passenger side, looks great. Now, as we're sitting here, uh, the car just purrs like a kitty cat and minimalistic. If you want a car that does not have all these gadgets all over the wheel and whatnot, this really is one of those cars to uh to get because there's nothing it's just a steering wheel and the paddles that's it all right guys i want to do a little acceleration test out onto the highway let me make sure i have everything in the proper mode setting got a manual shift second gear on throttle first gear here we go whoa whoa that back comes out a little bit wow <laughs> the brake pedal is so firm and really just to have this car Oh my God, I can't even like quantify words right now to how it feels the acceleration from that low speed with the manual shifting going on. The paddles are in the perfect placement, super smooth. You're not waiting for boost. And I'm telling you right now, it was, we were struggling for traction a little bit there. I mean, this thing is, it's a rocket. It really is a British rocket but I love the dash setup, gives you all the important information. The DCT works so well with the downshifts, very fast, very crisp. And the way the dash is set up, the whole dash, nice and low, gives you a great view out the front. All right guys, just driving down the road here, so smooth. It's great to hear that snarl coming from right behind your head. Underneath all that wonderful leather is a twin turbo V8 and that's gonna project you like a rocket, which we have already have. We're going to see how this McLaren 570 GT handles being a mid-engine. Remember, that was the whole reason behind the Corvette going to mid-engine was so that the handling could be improved compared to other cars that it was racing against, like the Ferrari 488. And of course, the mid-engine Porsche 911 RSRs that race in the IMSA WeatherTech series. But I tell you, I really enjoy driving this car. It's so easy to drive, so smooth, and the seats are comfy. They kind of just snuggle you, just like as if you were a newborn baby. Brakes are great. Those bright yellow bananas slowing you down. You're not gonna get, you're not gonna make a banana split, I promise you. It's gonna stop nice, perfect every single time. All right, guys, little acceleration test and some handling on throttle. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, God. On the brakes. Downshift. Little pop coming from the back. Feeling good. Wow. The turning is so quick. The chassis is so balanced. Look at this. Wow. Grip for days. It's like somebody took flypaper 
and just stuck it on the road and you are hunkered down. The feedback through the wheel is phenomenal. And I'm telling you, you're not waiting for boost whatsoever. It comes in very, very low, very quick, and you are off like a rocket. All right, guys, here we go. One more time, first gear on throttle. <laughs> oh, God, wow, on the brakes. Really smooth, three decreasing radius. Look at this, great. Wow, 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 super smooth. The shifts are so lightning fast, so very fast. Even over the rough payment, it's a, it's a harder ride, but you know what, for a supercar, this is not bad, it really isn't. You just gotta be mindful when you're pulling in and out of uh, parking lots like we are right now and whatnot. Just wanna watch that front splitter area. All right, guys, one more time just for you. First gear, hard launch, here we go. Oh my God, on the brakes. Wow, look at this turn in. So lightning fast, so smooth. Wow, launches you, just launches you. Here we go, wow. My God. It's interesting how you're propelled in a mid-engine car. You just feel like you're getting pushed and which makes sense because the engine's behind you and it's like no other feeling it really is like no other feeling but feedback is great it's so awesome that the steering wheel is clean and devoid of all the buttons and all the junk that gets in the way and visibility is perfect in this thing all right guys we're gonna do a little on-ramp acceleration test again really smooth here Gonna be really short, sweet. But on throttle, here we go. Whoa. Oh my God, 8,200 RPM red line. What makes the magic happen is just like in the GT350, that flat plane crankshaft. This thing though, it is so fast revving that with the twin turbo setup and everything, it's almost like humanly impossible to keep up with with how fast you're accelerating. And as you can see, we're on the highway here. Expansion joints, it's soaking it up pretty nicely and it's a nice comfortable ride, it really is. It's its the jack of all trades, really. And almost like the master of all of them. You can do your track day, you can drive it every day, and you're in a McLaren. So what else could you possibly want? But we're gonna go ahead, wrap this one up. We're gonna get back to Reeves. So I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been a magical, masterful, McLaren kind of day here at Reeves Subaru. First of all, I got to thank LD, Passandro, and the rest of the crew allowing us access to this freshly traded in 2017 McLaren 570 GT. What can I say? It has the performance. It's got the usability. It's got the look. Yes. Is the C8 Corvette fast? Yes, it is. Does the C8 Corvette have style? Of course. Does the C8 Corvette have usability? Sure it does. What it doesn't have is that McLaren name on the front of the car and the back of the car with the performance and that beautiful twin turbo V8 sound that just separates it from the rest of the group. Is this a daily driver supercar? For sure. And I think that it will make somebody very, very happy. But if it's Cars like these that you want to keep seeing on Randy's Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Randy's Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Randy's Rise merch. Got to give it up to Big Guns McGee. I had to, I had to get a, a towel for him, all the drool from this McLaren, and I don't blame him. So thank you, Tom, for just sucking it up and getting this supercar on camera for everybody. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.